Forbes is out with its list of the most powerful celebrities. Here to help us break down the top 10 CBS News business and economics correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. Good morning. Good morning. Some, some tried and tested names on the list and a few new ones. Some tried and tested names like, for example, Oprah, who right. topped the list. Again, she's done it three times in four years. Over $300 million deposited into her empire in the last year. So, of okay. course, that's a big one. Um, some of the names, though, that you might find surprising on the list. Some are surprising. So if we start, if we look through the top 10 starting at, starting at number 10, I think we have a list of the 10 through 10 through 6. Some of them you'd expect. Madonna, obviously, is there. Uh, Sandra Bullock, the band U2, I thought was interesting. But at number 6, Britney Spears. And you would have thought she hasn't been as, what would you say, public? Uh, you haven't seen, seen a lot of scandal. Yeah, yeah, she, had, really. yeah, she hasn't beaten up any cars with umbrellas. Lately. I mean, that's <laughs> and when you don't, you get no attention <laughs> she whatsoever. Yeah. Why but why but what about? she has done is she's gone on tour, and she actually had the, big, the fifth highest grossing tour in the last year. So wow. believe it or not, this is how she's making money. And through candy, she has this big candies campaign that grossed her $64 million last year. It's Nothing like a little endorsement. Great news for Kevin Federline. And speaking of endorsements, <laughs> yes, yeah, right? <laughs> speaking of endorsements, Tiger Woods, he lost a lot of endorsements. Endorsements yeah. last year still. because of the scandal, and yet still he is the highest paid uh, sports player of the last year, $105 million and richer. And he's number five on this most powerful he list, He is right? number five on that so most So clearly it hasn't list. affected him very much. A newcomer to the list. <laughs> there uh, is a potential that fortune could be cut in half next year. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Once those papers are finalized. <laughs> but yes, good point. Say. That'll be the next installment. Uh, Lady Gaga, though, coming in at number four. And this is, is this her first time on the list? This is her first time on the list. She had a huge tour, grossed $100 million in the last year. That banked her $62 million. So a huge year for her. And Forbes is basically saying, we we think she'll be on it again next year. Unless there was some, you know, unless she did something crazy at a baseball game. Oh, wait, that happened. <laughs> and clearly, <laughs> those murder. are the kind of things That's that score her, her points. And she's yeah. getting a lot of points with advertisers who like that edgy spirit. Polaroid has come out, endorsed her. Viva Glam has come out and had her do endorsements with them. So she's getting a lot of publicity, and it's helping her image a lot. And I think the one thing we can say about this top ten, totally recession-proof. All of these they actually I mean, made, as a group, they made billions of dollars in the last year as a group, and it was more than they made in 2009 as a group. On top of that, James Cameron, of course, we know he did Avatar, Beyonce Knowles, and Oprah Winfrey, there number one. There she is. Not bad. Rebecca Jarvis, thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.